Well today I finally got my hands on some of the Corda Dark Camo Compact Luggage and it's a video you guys have been wanting to see for quite some time because we made some shorts about four years ago and never actually got around to making the video but today is that day I've got four different items from the range and it is very nicely camouflaged so let's get into the video let's do it Yes, that's right. I've got a load of products from Corda's dark camo range and you guys have been after seeing this video for quite some time. So I finally managed to find some time to actually film it. First up, we've got the free rod hold all. I've got a 45 litre rucksack. I've got a bait call bag and I've got a utility bag. So I've got a whole, whole host of different items from the range, but all of them follow similar sort of features. So they're all made from a durable waterproof material. They've all got wipe clean bases. They've all got reinforced carry handles. So if you've got one item of the dark camo range, you know that if you're buying more and more and more, it's all gonna follow the same sort of suit and it's, it's gonna be of the same quality. Now the word quality is mentioned very loosely in a lot of carp fishing, but when it comes to Corda, you know you are getting what you pay for. Some of you might not agree with the prices, but the, uh, the actual quality is second to none. So if you're looking for a high-end product and luggage which is going to last you a good amount of time, then you know you're going to be safe with this lot. If we go through the small bags first, I've got the utility bag and this is very much a bag that can be used for anything, which is why it's a utility bag. At the moment, to give you some sort of context of what you can fit in there, I've got a beanie. You never know when you might need it. And then I've got my waterproof. So I've got some waterproof trousers and a waterproof coat. All of that fits into this little utility bag. And like I say, it all follows the same sort of features as, as everything else. So you've got the heavy duty zips, you've got a wipe clean insert. There is actually a little pocket as well. So if you want to differentiate putting your phone keys, things like that in there during a session, then you can have that in there, you know where it is. And then you can use the, the main pocket to store things like waterproofs or whatever you want in there. Like I say, you've got a wipe clean base as well. It's actually quite tough as well. So if you're putting it down on uh, gravel, things like that, it's going to be hard wearing enough that it's not going to go through. But that is the utility bag. It's a pretty simple product and they are relatively cheap as well. We're coming to prices at the end of this video, but this bag isn't one that's going to break the bank. Moving on to the bait cool bag. Now this can be used obviously for bait, but you can use it as a generic cool bag as well. Supposedly this features or this holds five kilos of bait. Now let's see. So I've got a five kilo bag of bait here. So let's pour it in and uh, if I can open it. But yeah, supposedly it holds five kilo of bait, whether that's freezer or shelf life, obviously being a cool bag, you can, uh, you can have your freezer bait in there and it's not gonna go off. So. It's tight. Very tight. <laughs> but I'd say when it's all uh, opened up and padded out properly, there you go. It literally does fit five kilos. That's 15 mil boilies. I'm guessing 18s it might be a little bit tighter because they're bigger, but you get less, but then there's bigger air gaps. Anyway, it will fit five kilos of bait. And then with this, you've got reinforced handles. Obviously it is a cool bag, so it's fully insulated as well. And then on the bottom, you've got that hard wearing base. And this is actually a really thick base. I'd say it's thicker than the utility bag. So I'm not gonna say it's rat proof but it will live up to the task a little bit better than if you had bait in the utility bag. So that is that one. Let's move that out of the way. You have then got the uh, dark camo rucksack and this is 45 liters. It's a fair size, but I think it's about right. So if you use carryalls, I'd say this is probably a, a direct replacement for a carryall. You can fit everything that you'd need to take fishing within this. Obviously you've got multiple pockets. You've got two either side. You've got one slightly smaller than a bigger one. And that's the same on both sides. You've got a front pocket as well, which if I unzip this, I think it's probably been perfectly designed for a quarter tackle box. So let's ignore the Nash one that I'm taking out of it. But there is a decent sized front pocket, which you can use either for tackle boxes or probably bank sticks, that sort of thing. So zipping that back up. You've got a little pocket just on the top here, which you can slide things like uh, tickets and memberships, things like that in there will be ideal. And obviously this is all waterproof as well. So once you've got that all in there, it's going to stay dry. There's actually uh, toggles on the top. So 
For that, you can use it as storage and then really pull them down to, to hold something, whether it's a coat or even unhooking mats or something like that. So there's actually quite a bit of room in these to roll up a mat and then tighten down on it. You've got a couple of carry handles here, which is really handy for moving rucksacks around the swim, something like that, because it's a handle both sides and then you don't have to rely on the actual um, straps themselves. If we just open this up, you've got one main pocket on the inside. So that is your main storage area. Obviously you can put loads of uh, different bits of storage boxes, things like that in there, but you've got one main storage area. And then in the top, you've got another little clear section as well. But I've fitted loads in here. I've got rig safe, I've got bait, mozzie zapper, uh, pellets, PVA, and then I've got a couple of storage compartments. And at the bottom, I've got my scales. So that shows how much room's in there. You can fit more than that as well. So there is yeah, plenty of room. And like I say, if you're using a carry all or something like that, this will be become a direct replacement for that. I'll just shove this quickly back in here before I spin it around. Yeah, there's still ample room in there. But if I do spin this around quickly, then on the back, you can see all the straps that you've got. So there's loads of adjustment in these. They're all padded, the back's padded as well. So it's actually nice and comfortable. Some of the rucksacks I've had in the past come really high up your back and it ends up cutting right into the middle of your back. But with this, since I've been wearing it and trying it, it actually comes down a little bit lower and it almost, it hugs you. So it actually feels really comfortable when you're wearing it. And then you've actually got a strap as well, which will then clip the two shoulder straps together and go across your chest. So if you've got quite a bit of weight in there, by having it across your chest, it makes it that bit more comfortable as well. So that is the rucksack. And then last but not least, we have got, <sighs> the rod bag, that was smooth. Now a rod bag obviously is quite self-explanatory. Uh, this takes three rods made up on the inside, but then there's loads of pockets around the outside where you can put pretty much everything else. So I will overlay a few clips of that, but you've got grab handles here. You've got a shoulder strap here, which you can take off. So if it gets in the way, you don't have to use it. Both sides of the rod bag, there's an option to have uh, nets or extra rods. So if you want to spod rod or something like that, you can have it in an extra sleeve on the outside. And then there's actually clipping points along the length of the rod bag. And like I say, that's actually on both sides. There's other compartments as well. So if you want distant sticks within this, there's also a lead pouch on one side. So you can get yourself actually going very quickly if you, if you set this up right. And obviously being a rod bag, you want it to protect your rod. So it is very, very well padded. And even though it's well padded, it's actually quite narrow. It's not too bulky, which a lot of rod bags on the market do seem massive, which is why people end up going for single sleeves. But this, like I say, is actually quite compact being from the compact range. Anyway, let's move on from that. The other thing to note as well, well, there's a few more things. You've obviously got the two grab handles here, but then you've got a grab handle just underneath. So when you have got it leaned up against something or if you're moving it to and from, it's actually easier to then use two hands to then maneuver it. But something else worth noting is there's a few sections along the top, which actually, once you unzip them, it then gives you that little bit more room. So if you've got uh, six foot landing net poles or something like that that you want to put within here then you can do and then you can get them in you can zip it up so it's tight and then there's no movement whatsoever so I think I've caused a lot of mess but I've given you a bit of an insight into the dark camo range now just moving on to the prices the rod bag which I've got here the free rod rod bag comes in at 109.99 the 45 litre rucksack comes in at 89.99 the cool bag comes in at 36.99 and then the little utility bag comes in at $21.99. So I'm not commenting on the prices whatsoever. That's for you guys to put in the comments below. And uh, do you think it's good value? Have you seen any of this stuff in the flesh? Because actually having it, it is very, very high end. But again, that's for you guys to decide in the comments. If you want more information on any of these products, head over to the Corda website where there'll be uh, exact dimensions and things like that. But thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>